Hi guys, Frugal Gal here. I um, got my hair cut if you can see it. Hmm. Now, I didn't go get a haircut. I know I haven't been doing my Frugal Tips Tuesday, but here's a Frugal Tip. Um, well, maybe you wonder, you might not want to do this one though. Um, I didn't cut, I didn't go to hair. I'm not spending thirty dollars for a haircut. Are you crazy? I I broke down because it was so long and aggravating me. I let my mom cut it. Now she's not a beautician or a former beautician. I just had I put it in a ponytail and I said cut it off halfway. And she did. She was behind me. She cut it off. But I don't think it's a real good sign that after you have somebody cut your hair. If you turn around and they're not saying nothing, but they're laughing so hard that they're not making any noise. Like, ah. I thought, okay, that's not a good sign. So when I looked at it, it's got a little chunk in the back. But I, you know what? For saving money, I don't care. I just wanted it cut. So you might want to do that. You might not. But I did go thrifting today. I had to take my mom to a doctor's appointment the next town over, so I went to Goodwill. Goodwill's prices are getting outrageous. They just keep getting worse and worse. I was looking at electronics, and I found this TV adapter that you could use to, you know, when we went from analog to digital, and it would um, allow you to, you know, to switch over to hook up an analog TV and still get the digital signals. Um, and I don't have a TV. I haven't had a TV for like five years. But I do have a portable one I was, I was I'm going to sell. I thought, well, it would be neat to ha hook that up, but it only, since it's um, from the 80s, it's it's only, you know, analog. So, on this box of this TV converter, it had a masking tape where somebody could try to sell it at a yard sale or bought it at a yard sale for a dollar. Turn it around for the Goodwill sticker. $25. Are you, are you crazy? I mean, come on. They're getting outrageous on their prices. But I did find a few things, but when I got home, I realized that I did not get my 25% off yellow sticker tag and the guy was very rude to me i don't know what his problem was today he was i had him open the jewelry case look at jewelry and it, i always stop at the jewelry case usually the last thing if i don't see any jewelry jars so i got my stuff i was looking at it, and he goes well i need don't put that in your car i need to hold that for you unless you're done shopping i said i'm done shopping he said well still i need to hold it for you mind you it's like a two dollar brooch okay yeah i'm gonna pocket a two dollar brooch whatevs so i hand it to him and then he kind of looks at me like ew you handed it to me he said, well, if you get anything else out of there, and that, and said, put it up on the counter here. I'm like, look, I ain't fancy dancy, but I'm dressed a lot better than most of these people in here. So don't you act like, um, I don't know if it's sometimes because you're a big girl, you know, that fat shaming stuff. Uh-uh. He didn't have a lick of hair on his head, and I didn't care. So what's he care if I have a little extra fluffiness? I don't know. He had an attitude. Anyway, I digress. I found a Tupperware. Ooh, love it. Butter dish. From the 70s i don't know if i'm gonna sell this or keep it i already have a pyrex butter dish that i use uh vintage it was two dollars so i'm gonna see how much these go for and see if i'm gonna sell it or not if i can sell it for 10 or 15 and get money yeah i'll sell it i found a tupperware picture now i plan on saving this for myself and i do because it's got a little nick in the th in the handle but i just want one anyway to keep some cold water because living in a travel trailer i have a very small refrigerator freezer so the freezer, I can hold two, barely two ice cube trays, and it's not self-defrosting, so when the frost builds up, it's really not even that. So I'd like to keep some cold water in there. It does have a smell in it. Always make sure you smell your Tupperware. Sometimes that smell will not come out. With a little bleach water, this should be okay. It's not too bad. All right, I also found this. Um, this is something you shouldn't um, overlook at thrift stores or Goodwills. The, they had a lot of these, but this one wasn't marked. The other ones were a couple bucks, and they were bigger. This is a needle point, point kit from the 70s. It is from 1974. It has never been opened. There's some other ones from the 70s. This one is to needle point a little um, that you can frame put in your kitchen. It says kitchen clothes because of illness. I'm sick of cooking. I hear you. Um, I will probably get $15 out of this. I have sold those before. I found this. I don't know if I'm a keep or not. One of those things I got to look up again. It um, it's just real cute. It's a coffee. This is the cup, and then it's the, you the, with the net in there, the filter, and you can some slow drip some coffee or put a tea bag in there and do it. And it has a lid. Maybe like if you're on the go or something, or camping. This would be good for camping. Might, that might sell right now. I'm getting better at this because I went over to the mugs and I'm like, I can't have. I have a I have an addiction to mugs. But I promised myself to get rid of some before I buy some. I have to get rid of two if I buy one. But I saw that one. I thought, that one's interesting. I picked it up, and yeah, it's Starbucks. 
It's a Starbucks 2003 barista mug. It is, looks like a melting, I didn't think it looked like melting, but that's what they call it, the melting snowman. See how it's the outline of a snowman, and then if you hold it just right, he's like holding on to the hot mug, but he's melting. Um, hold on just a second. Sorry, I had to take care of something. Um, anyway, it, they call it the melting snowman. Now, I can't find any of these specific ones on um, eBay to get, a, like, what they recently sold for, so I'm not sure. Um, I know I'm going to make more money than I paid for. I'm going to pay a dollar for it. But they are from 2003, and I guess they made them in different colors. Because I saw, I found a blue one um, on a different site. But that's neat. And then, what else? Oh, I bought this clock for my nephew. My nephew is 29. Um, and he will, he does his, he lives in St. Louis, Missouri. And he lives in a really old uh, house, it used to be a house, and we, we looked at the plans one time, it was built in like the 1800s, but it's been, it's one of those houses they've split up into apartments, so he lives in an apartment, and it's really neat, he does all of his rooms in mid-century, he really likes mid-century, and mid-century modern, this is a Baby Ben West Clocks, uh, mid-century, I looked it up, it is actually mid-century, it's not a repop, and it's a wind-up clock, and also I didn't notice until I got home, all these, uh, Numbers and the hands are fluorescent. They illuminate. Is that right? Illuminate? Illuminate? Illuminate it in the dark. Um, I wound it up and it works. I think you probably might be able to hear it ticking. And now I'm going to have to stick it some way far away from it because I hate ticking clocks. They get on my nerves. My mom has it like 25 clocks in her living room. There are those little crystal ones that tick. And it's like... Oh! No, it drives me nuts. But anyway, I got that for him because he is one when he was little. He went to thrift stores with me all the time. So he really picked up that love of vintage stuff. I used to have collect like fondue pots and he has to wear I gave them to him. So anyway, that's for him. I showed you this. Okay, and then um, I must be getting good at the jewelry too because I saw some braces on it. Zoomed in on them. I'm like, that looks decent. Now these just look like bangle bracelets. They're all together. There's five bracelets. These are just looking like bangle regular bracelets, right? But these I thought looked special. And they are because if you look on the inside, and I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it. I don't know. Right. Right. How am I going to do this? Where is that? Right there. I know you can't see that. It's Monet. Because Monet means Monet. And there's two Monet. It's Monet. And I have to look up. I have a Monet book. And I'll look it up online. Um, the symbol has an L after it, so we'll have to see how old they are. They might not be old, but still they're Monet. Um, this is cut like that. You see how it's got like a diamond pattern, and this is striped. Really nice gold tone, so that's a Monet brooch, um, brooches, um, bracelets. And then I saw this little stick pin in there. I thought it was cute, and it was, uh, had a yellow tag that he gave me off. I'm surprised. Hateful baldy. You ever been, you know, if you're a big person, you ever been, you just tell people don't like you because you're big. It's like, good grip. I just eat well. This is a four leaf clover. I thought it was cute. It uh, doesn't appear to have any marks on it. He was standing right over me and away from me, too. He was like standing away from me like I had a disease or something. I don't know. I mean, I thought, you don't want to touch me, hand me my stuff. You got to touch it when you check me out. Anyway, I got that and I, I didn't pay much for that. Oh, and I have one more. I found JJ brooch. And I think I've had this one before. I've seen it before. The people sell it. It's a little schoolhouse JJ brooch. So, um, this would be if somebody wants to buy it from this video. Because I always usually offer you guys this stuff first. Uh, it would be $10 plus shipping. I'm going to put it on Poshmark for about $15. Because they always make offers. So, well, I think it's cute. And I used to be a school teacher. So, yay. Alright, guys. I will let you go. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about the items I purchased. If you've owned any of them. Or maybe you know the price of them. Comment down below. I'm sorry I've missed some people's comments. Uh, YouTube has been really weird. It's been erasing my comments on my videos. And some, I know I got one from Jennifer Layton. And she was interested in getting some jewelry. And I'm sorry, Jennifer, I didn't respond. I did not see it until the other day when I went and, like, had to go back in my YouTube, like, the channel page and look at the analytics and look at my comments. So I'll get with you on that. I have to, I don't know, YouTube's weird. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up, share, comment, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.